Christy Castellano. Jeff is off tonight. As Central New Yorkers gear up for the 4th of July week holiday vacations, they're keeping a close watch on the wild weather impacting much of the country, from Colorado to Connecticut. Here's ABC's Alexis Christophorus. The force and fury of nature on full display in Minnesota today. For days now, historic floodwaters finding their own path around a century-old dam. The rerouted Blue Earth River slowly eroding away the earth in its relentless march downstream to the city of Mankato. Monday, an outbuilding was swept away. Last night, a home that had been on edge all week finally toppling into the raging river as well. That water is high and it's moving fast and folks shouldn't mess around with it. The Rapidan Dam compromised but still standing, clogged by debris and toppled trees carried by the floodwaters. We've seen people standing in the river up to their waist and in talking with some of our team, when they see that, what goes through their mind is that's not going to be a, re a, a rescue effort. That's going to be a recovery effort. In other parts of the Midwest, levees being tested. Evacuations underway after a levee along the Missouri River failed. Anybody that is living on the, around the Little Sioux River or on the Missouri River should have a plan on how to get out as soon as possible. Drone footage showing the Missouri River over its banks and flooding Council Bluffs, Iowa. At least eight twisters were reported across Iowa and Nebraska. Overnight strong storms around Omaha leaving thousands without power. Storms already causing travel trouble Tuesday with more than 8,000 flight delays nationwide. Ahead of the Independence Day holiday week, the FAA expects tomorrow will be the busiest air travel day of the year, with more than 53,000 flights scheduled, weather permitting. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York.